Hi, I'm Deacon Sherman. For almost 10 years, I've been accompanying pilgrims to various places around the world, constantly forming them in the faith through teaching and prayer as we visit these shrines. For those of you who have been unable to travel with us, my companions and I are producing these clips in order to continue accompanying you with understanding, reflection and prayer around sacred shrines. I hope that our efforts will be a blessing to you. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre in the Old City of Jerusalem covers what Christians believe is the site of the most important event in human history, that is, the place where Jesus Christ rose from the dead. It is within this premises that we find the very spot where our Lord was crucified, the spot where they took Him down from the cross immediately after He died and laid Him to clean His body up, and the place where He was entombed on a Friday before sundown, only to be found missing at the early dawn on Sunday. This church is a Romanesque basilica with grey domes and a cut-off belfry. Inside, there is a bewildering cluster of more than 30 chapels and worship spaces. These chapels are embellished with the devotional ornamentation of several Christian rites. This sprawling church of the Holy Sepulchre displays a mishmash of architectural styles. It has survived fires and earthquakes, as well as deliberate destruction and reconstruction down the centuries. Until today, it remains a living place of worship. Its ancient stones are steeped in prayer, hymns and liturgies. It bustles daily with fervent rounds of incensing and processions and prayer. This is the preeminent shrine for Christians, who consider it the holiest place on earth. It attracts pilgrims by the thousands, all drawn to pay homage to their Saviour, Jesus Christ. Ownership of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is shared between the Greek Orthodox, the Catholics, who are known in the Holy Land as the Latins, and the Armenian Orthodox. The rights of possession and use of the church premises are spelt out by a decree called the status quo, originally imposed by the Ottoman Turks in 1757. Visitors may quite easily be bewildered by the church's contrasting architectural styles, its pious ornamentation and its competing liturgies. But if these man-made elements could be removed, there would be only dirt and rock and grass under our feet and the open air all around us. Such was the original state of this area before Jesus died and was buried here. One major objection raised is that the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is situated within the walls of the old city of Jerusalem, while the Gospels say the crucifixion took place outside the city. Archaeologists have confirmed that the site of the church was outside the city until about 10 years after Christ's death, when a new wall was built. Now, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first, and stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying, and the napkin, which had been on his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in, and he saw and believed. Christ is risen, the world below lies desolate. Christ is risen, the spirits of evil are fallen. Christ is risen, the angels of God are rejoicing. Christ is risen, the tombs of the dead are empty. Christ is risen indeed from the dead, the first of the sleepers, Glory and power are His, forever and ever. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you found it beneficial, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and also to hit the bell button in order to receive notification whenever a new video is uploaded onto this channel. Do also check out our online catalogue by clicking on the link in the description below.